Welcome to the Clash at Daytona International Speedway, where tonight there are no points on the line. There's only a trophy that will be on the line here on this channel, and that is one of the most greatest things we love to talk about. As we get set for the Clash here, the Bush Clash, not at the uh, track that we always run, which is the Coliseum, but we're doing it traditional Daytona International Speedway. Got Noah Tutu, Alex Hawkins, the front row, Abigail Furling, and Luke Knight alongside. So let's get the command to get this race underway. And that was the command to fire up these engines. So we're going to let the field roll off behind the... Dodge Pace Car, the official Pace Car of the BHRA, and there goes all 26 of them. The points paying race is always critical here. 30 laps of racing. These drivers don't have to worry about a pit stop because this will not be a fuel mileage race. Question is, do they have enough Goodyear rubber to make it 30 laps? We will just have to wait and see. I will be surprised if we have to make pit stops in this race. Those are down the back straightaway, the Daytona Super Stretch. You can check down the description for the starting lineup. If you're hearing the noise in the background, it's the wind blowing the door, so I do apologize if you're hearing that. These are what I call 26 of the best of the best of the best. And they're ready to put on a show for 30 laps here today. The Clash is one of my favorite races we love to do on this channel. As we are set to get this party started. We hope you had a lot of fun on 11 o'clock, but it's more important today to watch the Clash. The Bush Clash, the 2022 version at Daytona, which I know is not continuing on, but... It's continuing on this channel as my glasses just fell off, which I don't give a crap about that. So, here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing drivers in the clash. It'll take these restrictor plate engines to get up to full song. Down the back straightaway they go in the words of Mike, Mike Joy, the voice of NASCAR on Fox. Clean start. Abigail Furling going to the race lead here. Abigail Furling, of course, in her final season in this year, in the uh, in the um, events like this, will retire at the end of the 2022 season. Don't count her out as a surprise uh, to be a favorite to win the Bush Clash. All 26 have led, or all 26 cars has rather taken the green flag. Here comes Ish Taylor in that two. The Monster Energy Audi RS8. Audi has been one of the most interesting manufacturers. Of course, Ish Taylor made it into the championship race. Kevin Joseph in the 75. 
That's Leela Bakai in the 35, right behind her. Daniel Voiles in the 26. Here comes Coven Joseph, the Dunkin' Donut Chevrolet to the inside. I'm on Leela Bakai for some reason. Do apologize because my... Because the NR game does not want to fully cooperate with me. Pick her back up. Got a lot of superstars in this series that are taking part in this race. Here comes Bakai in that 35. Leila Bakai, the only Hawaii driver in the field. Seth Cole from New York in that. Leaf filter number eight car right there is I don't know why I clicked on the mouse. They're going three wide between Kevin Joseph, Jacob Tutu, and that's uh, Troy Kang in the 10 who's running in the Buffalo Wild Wing Series full time in 2023 after losing his spot last season. Betty Barrett who snapped her losing drought earlier this year. Right there in that Jeff Burton throwback, the X-Side Batteries Ford. Chloe Erickson in the 46. That's her brother, Ben Erickson, in the 96. Chloe and Ben used to race in the, the now-retired NOS Energy Cup Series. Of course, Chloe ran a part-time schedule for NOS Energy Motorsports. Ben ran the full schedule. Neither one of them found victory lane. They've been running in the PCSRA BHRA since 2016, or 2014. They've been in those rides since 2016. There's Ben Erickson. There's Dora Marquez. Was announced earlier. Um, if you guys are not familiar about the uh, VHRA on uh, Discord, link is, by the way, in on my channel if you want to click it. Uh, Dora Marquez, we believe, will be uh, back in that 49 next season as Chloe Erickson takes the lead. That That's, of course... There is a record for NASCARs in this field. Chloe Erickson, Ben Erickson, Troy King, and Luke Knight. Luke Knight is right near the rear of the field. In that twenty, right near the back of the field. You can barely see that NAS Energy Ford Mustang, the original one. You can pick those two cars apart between the 97 and the 10. Nick Foster in the 28, the Avengin... Sevenfold Ford. Nick Foster this year in the Reese's Pro Series has had a really disappointed season. Never found victory lane. He's ha he's going to be mo probably moving down to the Buffalo Wild Wings Series next season. Wyatt Beanstalk, who's making his return to the Reese's Pro, has been spectacular in his debut in his debut race of the 2022 season as he's pushing Nick Foster to the lead. Bount got a trip to victory lane at Chicagoland. Even though NASCAR doesn't race at Chicagoland anymore, we still do because we love Chicagoland. And Wyatt, we believe, will be back with this team in 2023. There's Emmy Lipson. What a big shocker this season's been for her. In 2016, got three wins, made the playoffs, came up short of winning the championship. Did Has not found victory lane since getting those three wins. It's been a while since she's been to victory lane, if, I'm, if I recall correctly. There's the legendary Aussie himself, Zachary Fitzwater in the 43. Fitzwater, a former champion in this series, as far as an owner's perspective, 
as he won the championship with, ironically enough, the driver who's right behind Timmy Turner, Annie Thomas, the 2015 series champion of the series. Fitzwater found victory lane in 20, 2021, but was not high enough in points uh, to get in the top 30 in points and get that win counted towards a spot in the playoffs. He spent most of last season way outside the top 35 in owner points and never found that, uh, and never got into the top 35. This year, it's been the same way for him. So hopefully Fitzy in 2023 for Richard Petty Motorsports will will do wonder. There's Annie Thomas, the 2015 series champion. That Aussie Shampoo Toyota Camry, that is from World NOS Racing. Her teammates leading Chloe Erickson, the 23 and 46 are teammates. Ever since Ever since winning the championship in 2015, Annie Thomas has not had any luck so far. Yes, she did snap her losing drought and found victory lane, but like I said about Fitzwater, the, the driver she's passing, which was her former team owner back in 2015, of course the two split after the 2015 season, and Annie Thomas has been on World Nose Racing ever since. Thomas, ever since winning the championship in 2015, has not had any luck. Uh, she did find victory lane. She did not, however, get, like Fitzwater, did not get enough points to get into the top 30 to get that win counted towards a spot in the playoffs. Mackenzie Thompson, I tell you what, this driver has had so much bad luck this year. She has not found victory lane. She is one of the drivers in danger of dropping to the Buffalo Wild Wing Series. And for a former playoff driver from 2016, that is probably the big shocker of the race. As we've already passed the one-third mark of this race, we're nearing the halfway mark in this race. And there's Sophia Rowland, who's been who's making her return to that um, to the Reese's Pro for RCR. There's Sally Foster. There's Luke Knight in the 97, the other NOS Energy car. As I said, you can pick those two NOS Energy cars apart between the 97 and the 10. You can just look at the colored rims on the 97 versus the 10. So you can definitely pick those two those two cars apart as far as that's concerned. Sally Foster has had a really has not really had a good season. And there's her brother Nick. There's Desiree Voiles. Desiree Voiles um this year going for a championship in a couple of uh, coming up this weekend at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And we'll talk about that when we get to Triple P. Um, or we talked about it on Triple P, rather. There's Kevin Joseph. A couple of other names we have not talked about. There's Seth Cole in the 8, as I mentioned. There he is. I call him Mr. Where Did He Come From? The PCS Array, BHRA's version of Mr. Where He Come From, Kevin Harvick, Jacob Tutu, of course he is from Montreal, has not had a good season so far. Timmy Turner, former winner of the 500 in 2016, that was when that was a race when five drivers finished that race. Betty Barrett, who also won this year's Brickyard 400, That's, that made her snap her losing drought. As we're at the halfway mark in this race, lap 15 of 30. And one thing I want to mention about Abigail Furling, uh, when we get to Charlotte, it is going to be her final race as a full-time driver. She's going to be reunited to a role she used to have in the Reese's Pro Series team owner, but she will be co-owner of that team like Daniel Voles and Luke Knight do. Furling will be, uh, Abigail Furling, that is. She is the only Furling in this field, though. Abigail Furling will be a team, will be a co-owner with Nathan Orman at Nathan Orman Motorsports next season, which would, could be renamed to Furling Orman Motorsports, we are being told according to rumors. So interesting combination. As there's Kevin Joseph going for the lead. 
Kevin Joseph next season will have a four-car team. The four-car team is consisted of himself, his uh, teammate and girlfriend, Lisa Gonzalez, who's not in this field. Gonzalez also has is a former winner at a restrictor plate race. Danny Rant, who's not in this field, and the driver they just recently picked up during the 2022 season in a trade with Nathan Orman Motorsports. That would be Belgian's Alexandria Van Dam. <clears throat> Here comes Mr. Where Did He Come From? Jacob Tutu in the 14 for Stuart Haas Racing. Jacob Tutu, interesting enough, he has not won a restrictor plate race since all the way back in 2011. That was at the Los Angeles International Speedway. Of course, we're going to be returning to Los Angeles in 2023. But at the newly built Maxwell Center. Hopefully we'll see that. And almost went four wide there. That was kind of sketchy there, gang. But we sell it back down the three wide. They're on a hundred rated AI. Oh, no, Lee Lubakai, you better not think about four wide. You better not think about four wide. Okay. Good, 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 good. I was kind of worried about Bakai sticking Emmy Lipson four wide. And you all know about Super Speedway Racing. When these drivers try to go four wide, that is a recipe for disaster waiting to happen. And a lot of times I've talked about it in NR 2003 competition, Drivers try to go four wide, it does not work, and you know the results of a 15 to 20 car pileup. As my charger deal came undone, so give me a second. <clears throat> okay. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. As Bakai has now taken the race lead. If anybody wants to start off the special events on a high, it would be that 35 team. Lila Bakai looking like she's going to be one of the case, one of the points of possibly winning this as we're going to check the back of the field. Mike Foster not having a good run as we got 10 laps of racing to go. Betty Barrett in that 99 coming up there, getting ready to pass Sam Johnson for the second spot. Indeed, she does. Daniel Voiles in that fresh Cheddar 26 coming up on the inside, pushing Dora Marquez. Dora Marquez, the only Latin America in the field. Lila Pakai, the only Hawaiian driver in the field. And Daniel Voiles, one of two Oklahomans in the field. There's his little sister, Desiree. Of course, Daniel Vols was cleared to race tonight. After last week, had to quarantine for a contact tracing of COVID-19. There is Timmy Turner back there. There comes, but here comes Marquez. Here comes Daniel Vols in the 26, Timmy Turner. Turner's a former winner of the 500 back in 2016, as I mentioned earlier. And there's Desiree Voiles in that 20, in that six car, excuse me, for Rash Fenway Racing. Boy, as the laps start to wind down, these drivers are going to start getting a bit aggressive because. 
The laps are ticking down, the pulse rate are ticking up, and I call it the intensity is about to happen. Here comes Voils in the 26. Daniel Voils, a former NR champion. He won the Budweiser All-Pro Series in Season 7, won the retired Knott's Energy Cup Series. But that was under Daniel Voils Racing. He, he's driving for Knott's Energy Motorsports. He tried to shut the door on Sophia Rowland. That didn't work. He's lucky had he came down on Sophia. They would have caused a big wreck that did not need to be happening. And Sophia going to lead. The two Aussies of Betty, or excuse me, that's, I believe that's Annie Thomas in the 20. Yep, that's Annie Thomas in the 23. Yeah, because she's the only one. Of course, Betty Johnson's not racing due to, uh, Quarantine at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So Annie Thomas in that 23. I thought that was Becky Johnson for a second, but it's Annie Thomas because those two run identical paint schemes. Now we're getting close to the critical part of this race. Who is going to work together? Betty John or excuse me, Annie Thomas. Right behind Zachary Fitzwater. Of course, those two were teammates at Fitzwater Australia Racing. Can Annie Thomas work together to help Fitzwater win this race? And an SCRA president, Seth Cole in that eight car. Seth Cole's had a tough 2022 season so far in Reese's as he has not been to victory lane this season after making it into the playoffs only to get eliminated in, I believe, the second or third round last year. Annie Thomas up to the racetrack. She's going to drop backwards. Here comes Seth Cole under Fitzwater. We're coming to four laps to go. Sam Johnson driving for Zachary Taylor. In that Reebok Ford. Remember, Sam Johnson's team owner, Fitz, or Taylor, is a former winner at Pensacola in 2017. Four to go. You don't want to make your move too early, because if you do, you could be a sitting duck. If you're that three car, you're just mirror driving. Anyone can make a move. You better make it now. Here comes Seth Cole. Here comes Sam Johnson. Can't get the run on Seth Cole. They're going to put Sophia Rollin up high. As we're coming, the three to go here at Daytona. Now the two Fords. It's a Ford 1 2 3. Seth Cole, Sam Johnson, and Nick Foster. Kevin Joseph's coming up there with Luke Knight and Abigail Furling in that 31 Caterpillar car. Speaking of Caterpillar, it's a shame Caterpillar's not returning to NASCAR. How would they feel if they went to Victory Lane in this, in this special event as a farewell gift? There goes Sam Johnson as we're coming the two to go at Daytona. But Sam Johnson leaves the door open for Kevin Joseph in the 97. Anything can happen in these last two laps. I don't know who's going to win this race. Now Kevin Joseph to the lead. Does Luke Knight have any plans of passing him? Luke Knight wants to be second at the white flag and that's what he looks like he's gonna be doing. 
And the white flag is out by the starter one more time around Daytona. Does Luke Knight get a run on Kevin Joseph? Does Abigail go for the win? Who is going to win this clash? This is going to be one of the most exciting finishes we're about to see in the clash's history. Here comes Abigail Furling. Here comes Luke Knight. They're three wide in the turn number three. They're three wide. Ben Erickson's going to get the run right behind Abigail. They put Luke, Kevin Joseph up high, side by side of the line, and it's going to be Abigail Furling that's going to win the clash. To give Caterpillar a nice farewell tour from NR Racing and also in NASCAR. And Abigail Furling, who announced in 2022 it was her final full season, will be crowned this year's Bush Clash Champion. Holy Toledo, Ohio. Oh, boy, that was exciting finish. Now, wasn't it, everybody? That's a great way to start the special events. As you look at the results, Abigail Furling, Luke Knight, Ben Erickson, Itch Taylor, Noah Tutu, Kevin Joseph, Alex Hawkins, Troy King, Sam Johnson, and Sally Foster. That was your top 10. Barrett, Cole, Foster, no, uh, Nick Foster, excuse me, in 13th. Emmy Lips and Sophia roll in the top 15. Then it was Thompson, Beanstalk, Fitzwater, 2-2, and Annie Thomas, the top 20. Bakai, Daniel Voiles, Dora Marquez, Desiree Voiles, Timmy Turner, and Chloe Erickson round out the 26-car field. But what a way to start off the special events. And Abigail Furling, which her title, which her sponsor Caterpillar in this on this mod said farewell to NASCAR, and that's a great gift to them by winning the Bush Clash. Thank you all for tuning in to tonight's race here at Daytona National Speedway. Excuse me, there I had a little belge. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray Crew today. We've shown you your full finisher results right down the 26th. And we'll see you next time. Till then, I have been the Blue Hedgehog signing off. And we'll see you next time as you've been watching a production of the BEH Array and PCS Array, the best center racing since 2017. Good night from Daytona.